So last week we got started on the baseball diamond project and this week most students were actually finishing up that project. Um, we're gonna take a look at how some of them decided to actually program the robots to make that baseball diamond loop and we're gonna introduce the next project that most of them will probably get started on next week, but some of them may actually get started on today. It's gonna to involve sounds and lights and jokes and other things that you can do with the robot. So let's take a look and see how they're doing. my code for my robot to make it run a baseball diamond. Uh, I have I added a little bit of a wait timer here so that I have time to get my camera started before it actually starts moving. Mm. And then I have it programmed to go the exact length that I need it to um, and then turn and then go forward a bit towards second base and then go backwards a bit towards first base again and then go all the way to second and then turn and go to third and turn, which I just fixed now because it was going weird, and then go to home again. That seems like a lot of instructions just to make it go around in a square. Robots are like smart and stupid at the same time because they only do exactly what you tell them to. Mm. After they finish, I'm having them actually write a blog reflection where they're doing a screenshot. They're including a video of the robot doing a successful run around the bases um, and including like any aha moments, the iterations that the project went through, and then turning that in, that'll be what's being assessed. Trying out um, mainly uh, like getting things to appear on the screen. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it seems like you're being successful. Yeah. What's your next thing that you're trying to figure out? Um, then I'll probably do using either like the buttons to interact or the touch sensors. Awesome. But I'm kind of ahead, so I'm just kind of messing around with it to see what I can do. I'm not really telling them how to do a lot of stuff. A lot of this, they'll ask me questions, I'll either tell them what to Google, or just say, oh, I don't know, what do you think you can do? Um, so Garrett, how has your experience been so far? Troubleshooting when okay. I don't help you in any way. It's been fine. <laughs> what, are you trying to, what were you trying to figure out earlier? And what did you try? Oh, yes, I was trying to upload a file with sound. Uh, I, wrote, I made a file and I, caught, I like uh, recorded something. And then I tried making a file and then plugging it into this, but that didn't work, so I'm gonna try something else. All right, good luck. A good just teaching practice in general is giving time limits on things like cleaning up, or else it drags and drags and drags. So they usually have about five minutes to clean up, and it's only been about one minute. And most people have actually got a good amount of it done. Still a few left. Week three robotics is going well. I think that having the students go at different rates, different paces, some of them are finishing earlier than others, which kind of creates some management issues. Hi, Yuan. And when some of them finish early, they're kind of like, oh, I'm kind of done. I'm already done a day ahead. And so there's not really any way around that, though. Luckily, for the most part, they're really into the actual projects. I guess in the real world, people don't learn all at the same pace, and so it's not ideal to try to do that in robotics and make sure everyone's going lockstep, especially when they have a bunch of different um, background knowledge. But it was a, it was a, a fairly good um, week three. A lot of students are learning. Looking forward to week four, episode four. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Thanks for watching.